keep going this way and it'll take us to the landing pad, which is obviously going to be outside, right? Oh, yo, oh! Wait, hold on. This looks like the intro from Early Access. Yeah, they changed a lot from uh, Early... Yeah. So it, the intro of Early Access, you start on land. You didn't fall from the sky like the intro of the uh, of this. But you start from here, and there's like an avalanche, and you have to escape from here, like through there or something like that. Uh, and that's how you end up in the water over there. And I don't remember why there was a, an escape pod. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I actually don't remember. I have to go like back and look at the early acts and see what that was all about. But uh, yeah, here we go. We have a beacon over here. We discovered. So here's the landing pad. Oh wow! What in the world? Look at these aurora lights. Super duper beautiful. Is there anything else around here though? There's like geysers and stuff like that around here. I'm looking around. It looks like there's stuff glowing over here. Oh yeah, look at that something over here doing a uh, some sort of signal. Let's see what is this? Oh jeez, I'm dying. What is this? Spy pang <laughs> spy pangling fragment. Uh, oh yeah, we already have that. Oh, Altera PDA spy pangling log number one. Hold on, can I go here? Weather approaching. Seek shelter. All right. I guess I'll read the uh, listen to the spy pangling log right there. But uh, it seems like to go into there, we need to actually use a spy pangling, unfortunately, and uh, disinfect. Ah, I guess I'll eat these. Boom. I get the disinfect of water. It definitely makes sense to actually make one of those bad boys, a spy pangling, so we would actually go into tight little crevices like that. And, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, am I actually going to make it up this? Holy heck. I think I'm able to go up anyway. Yeah, see, look, there's a, <laughs> there's a ramp right here anyway. It's not that big of a deal if I go up this, right? And there's even more of those fevered peppers over here. Cool. I think I'm going to hang out over here. Even though I'm already safe inside of my, uh, my, what do you call it? Uh, prawn soup. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of that. But why is the communication spy pangling, like, part one or something like that? Let's listen to that. Where's that going to be? The terror personnel, uh, news? Where is that? Let me find that. It was spy pangling log, like, number one or something. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess you don't even listen to it. I have to read it real quick. And of course, it's from Sam, because she's the one that built the robot. Yeah, so this is going to be where Sam was, because she was building the spy pangling robots, and we're over here in the robotics area. Interesting. Anyways, spy pangling log number one. Sam, the spy penglings are creating so many new research opportunities. They're perfect for exploring tight spaces. Yeah, that's what I just said. Uh, it's tight spaces that I can't squeeze into. Little pockets hiding lots of resources. The penglings can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seem to generally ignore them. My little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. So we should be safe uh, from getting destroyed by other penglings, which is good. They'll just kind of mind their own business. Won't try and kill the imposter playing a little mini game of Among Us or anything like that with us, right? So, I uh, definitely want to try and make that. I think it's relatively cheap, right? To get the spy pangling robot itself. If I remember correctly, like, I remember, like, kicking myself, like, oh, why didn't I make that earlier? Because it was so cheap when I was looking at it. Wherever in the world it is. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, yeah, two titanium wiring kit, silicone rubber, and a battery. Pff, and titanium and copper wire. Yeah, that's so cheap. I don't know why I don't have that right now, but... Yeah, I'm like, if I make one, it's just going to take up even more inventory space, right? Copper right there. They're, they're kind of giving us some of the, uh... Some, some of the resources that... Oh, whoa. Oh, wait, what in the world? This is different. You guys remember I just mentioned, yeah, it seemed like the, the intro of the early axis. Yeah, the intro of early axis had an actual physical building here, but it looks like this base is built into the side of a uh, fire robotic center. This one's actually built to the side of a mountain or a uh, iceberg thing here. Interesting stuff. And I was just pull this out, see if there's any fragment. Oh, there's a fragment here. I must be behind this. Hold on. I don't think I could take the uh, thing into here. Fire robotics. This is where Sam worked. Ooh, all right, so. Actually, hold on, this cave seems familiar as well. I feel like I, I don't remember, yeah, I remember a destroyed area on land with a forklift. I remember this from early access as well. See, every time, oh wait, what is this? Oh, Snow Fox hover pad fragment, perfect. Yeah, this is the thing that I think to charge the Snow Fox. And uh, data bank entry, Snow Fox, oh. And we get the Snow Fox hover pad. New blueprint synthesized. All right. Well, we still need two more uh, things for the Snow Fox itself, so uh, it's going to be kind of useless right now. <laughs> Snow Fox hover pad. The hover pad is a deployable pad equipped with two articulating arms for rapid Snow Fox assembly and repair. Okay, so this is where we actually craft it as well. Uh, recharge via magnetic to thermal energy conversions, or like wireless charging, I guess you can call it. Most commonly used for land-based operations in low to medium gravity. Interesting. And in cold climates, of course. Otherwise, uh, it wouldn't be called a heck of a snow fox, right? But yeah, I, I think I remember in uh, 
early access. I remember coming into here and there's like literally nothing. So uh, hopefully there's actually something here now, right? And there's an actual battery there. So mm, I think I have. I'll eat the old fevered peppers just because they're probably like they're starting to get old. They're starting to get kind of stale or uh, rotting away anyways, right? But it is, uh, there was a, yeah, so there's still a fragment around here somewhere. Like right here. But it's not, it must be above us. Let's see, yeah, it's still staying like right here. So it must be above, because there's no, yeah, it's, it's wanting me to pick up snow. Yeah, there's no actual, unless I can scan this, nah. Yeah, there's no actual, like, <sighs> fragment there, unfortunately, so that sucks. Let's keep exploring around here so we can find, though. And maybe I'll get the, uh, get this out over here, too. Oh, there is another fragment here, though. Is it here? Oh, it is. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Hmm. I'm like, we are, uh, we did come across the snow, frog, snow fox a fragment like I wanted, so hey, that's a little bit lucky right there. Yep, two out of three, and we're surely going to find three out of three here pretty soon. And there's another spy pingling uh, fragment there. Sam's bed. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Yeah, well, obviously the place I can collapsed. What in the world's that? Can I scan that? That plant that she has right there? Pick up framed art. I guess I'll pick that up. She has like a little robot right there. There's like her pearl necklace. I can't pick that up, unfortunately. Can't steal that. Which kind of sucks. There was a uh, PDA there. Let's see. Danny Call Re Research. Let's listen to this. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. And why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> Oh, I'm going to tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. <gasps> We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Yeah, Sam doesn't like that, uh, Danielle. We were uh, we were over there earlier, uh, maybe like two episodes ago or something like that. Uh, you guys remember, like, the heckin', what was it called, Omega Base that got, like, bombed or something crazy? Uh, oh, wait, hold on, there's more fragments here, hold on. Wait, where is this? Oh, it must be on the other side of this. Or is it? What in the world? Water, oh, <laughs> I forgot about water purification tablets. Yeah, laser. Okay, laser cut a fragment. I guess I'll get rid of that just so it doesn't show up on the thing anymore. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, there's no more. There's a fabricator right there. There's a whole door right there. There's a locker. The robot arm. Uh, there's nothing else around here. Oh, wait, hold on. Another PDA right there. Sapient life. Let's listen to this. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A Hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> what is Fred doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. Hmm. <laughs> that was an interesting little meme right there. Fred is quite the character. Yeah, I think he's the guy with the mustache, right? <laughs> uh, making snake noises to sound like a heckin' Hydra. 
<laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll get rid of the titanium just because water purification. Oh. The frozen water sauce. Water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Oh man, another poster right there. Cool. That's like a spy pangling poster. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else around here though, like worth looting? And I did see, yeah, there is a hatch right here I could open up. And I could also scan the nameplate for some reason. Boom. Oh, it longs communication actually from doing that. What's this? Oh yeah, it just shows this stuff right here. Which, uh, so this is Zeta. This is the person we heard uh, earlier. I think once we got here, yeah, one of those uh, data log, whatever it's called, uh, PDA recording things, uh, had this person talking on. And yeah, I think Sam and, was it Fred? So Sam and Danielle. Yeah, they were talking about Zeta as well just a minute ago. Either way, senior scientist of robotics reports to Emmanuel Jardin. Oh man, I'm so incompetent again like two episodes ago. Is it Dejardins? I think it's Dejardins. I think they said the S is like silent. I'll just call it Dejardins. <laughs> or Dejardin. Uh, current project, oversight of all robotics uh, projects. So like the manager of the second sector or whatever you want to call it. And there's the personality like Toad. Interesting stuff. Uh, kind of looks like a heckin. <laughs> kind of looks like a Karen, to be quite honest. <laughs> uh, I don't know why she called Zara Zeta instead of Karen. That'd be funny if they actually named her Karen. That'd be a meme. But yeah, still missing one uh, snow fox thing. I don't know if we're going to find a fragment inside this hatch, but uh, let's see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, wow. An aquarium inside there. Like a large aquarium. Hold on. Let me go over here real quick, though. Oh, yeah. If there was going to be a uh, thing, it'd probably show up on this. God. Even in here, the stairs are hecked up. Oh, a poster of what in the world? I'm floating up. What the? Pff oh, I don't know what's going on with that. You guys, it's crazy. Hold on. What else could I drop now? Like I've got posters and water tablet. I don't want. I don't want to drop anything here. And I've got two snowballs. So you know what? I think the one that's right there. I think that's the old one. Hopefully I didn't drop. Jeez. Hopefully I didn't just drop the uh, the original OG snowball I've had for who knows how long. <laughs> but I consume the uh, water there. There you go. And uh, just scan whatever else over here. But uh, oh yeah, we have this aquarium already. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Why can't I scan? Oh wait, hold on. This is a scanner. Cold suit fragment. Ooh. So I'm able to make the cold suit that hopefully is a little bit better in cold areas, especially on land. Let's see. Boom. Yep. Blueprint synthesized. Perfect. New blueprint synthesized. All right. So we have the cold suit right now, which means if we switch over to this, we'll no longer make water from our sweat from this thing, the water filtration suit. So uh, let's read about this real quick. Cold suit unrivaled in protection from colder climates. The cold suit is the ideal outfit for below zero conditions. Yeah, just like I thought. Fur lined for natural heat transfer reduction. Try laminated seals at all openings, rated to 130, uh, 133.8 Kelvin, and self-regulating interior compressor. Interesting. Kind of interesting that it still has like a, like it like like it looks skin tight right there, even though it has a bunch of fur inside of it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but either way, how cheap or how expensive is this going to be to make? Like how how do I even craft this? If I don't have fur. Oh wow, it's like a whole thing. To so get the cold suit itself for your body. Oh, snow stalker fur. Ooh, that's why. And then fiber mesh. And then even more fiber mesh snow stalker fur for the cold suit gloves and the helmet as well. And yeah, you got to switch over to like a, basically a full heck of set. So the helmet, the actual body, and then the gloves. Which means I'm like, we're not going to be using the rebreather on land anyways. The water filtration. I'm like, it's good, but I don't need it's not that big of a deal. I, I, and I don't have any gloves either. So it's not that big of a deal if we have to make a whole heck of set there. But uh, I'll make Zeta's or I'll scan Zeta's bed right here. What is that, though? Oh, it's a little escape pod right there in the water. Interesting. That's cool. I don't know if I want to switch over to that. What is this? Hoverball? Yeah, there's like hoverboards there and they're playing like some sort of sport with hoverboards. Oh man, there's a song right there. Hold on. For the jukebox. Nerd Out Diving In Too Deep. Yeah, it isn't Nerd Out a uh, YouTuber, I think, right? They make uh, songs for like different games. I think they made one for Ark and of course Subnautica. Uh, it, maybe not just one, probably heckin' multiple. Discus fish, I'll drop you on land. Have fun suffocating out here, hate of. <laughs> or do you want to start like swimming around? I don't know. What is that? There's like a. Oh, wait. Yeah, large filtered water right there. Ooh. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of that and I'll put that right there. Boom. Nice. Just in case I need that, right? But uh, Altera PDA, t a. Wait, the T in team. Let's listen to this. Oh, wait. Golly, that's a lot. I guess I'll read this real quick. It sounds just like the thing we had over in Omega Base where we read like some sort of like motivational thing saying, oh, you can't multitask uh, or like multitasking is inefficient. You'd rather monotask and focus on one thing at a time instead of multiple things or else you get like distracted or something like that. You'll be a lot less efficient. I forgot how it specifically went. But either way, 
The TN team, practicing mindfulness as a leader. Okay, so it sounds like something for a, specifically for a leader, which makes sense. She's like the heckin' manager. <laughs> She's the manager of, what is this called, like Fi or something like that? But she looks like a Karen, and Karen wants to talk to the manager. That's such a meme. <laughs> I hope they did that on purpose. That's a pretty good joke. Either way, uh, I'll actually have to read this now. Let's see. Uh, your team is a sponge, just waiting to soak up all the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing warmth and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who follow you with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first. That is the power of mindfulness in leadership, which we'll discuss further in the next chapter. But first, let's explore another element of leadership that often goes overlooked. The steeping time. Once you've poured your healing magic over your team, you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their new environment and become fragrant and fully realized. There is power in a healing leader, but a patient healing leader is unstoppable. Ooh, all right. So just more motivational sort of stuff here and uh, jukebox speakers there. I wonder where their jukebox is so I could actually steal more juke, uh, CD cartridges, I guess you can call that. And there's, <laughs> oh, that thing not dead. I still need to scan it too. So, uh, hey, there you go. I guess I'll read about the discus fish, especially because I'm about to heck and kill it. Iceland, I'm like, if, it, if I was going to kill it, it would have been dead by now, right? It's still alive. You hear that, YouTube? No, no need to demonetize me. <laughs> the discus fish, a colorful small fish with a laterally compressed body. The discus generally survives off of algae and other plant materials. They also serve as nutritious prey for many other larger or quicker members of the ecosystem, such as myself, who hadn't caught him. <laughs> and now is making him suffocate on land. <laughs> Unless he grows lungs and legs and arms and stuff like that, right? And he's going to evolve, like, instantly. <laughs> I'm like, it kind of looks like he already has, like, arms and legs and stuff like that, but it's kind of like inside of an invisible membrane, or like a see-through transparent membrane there. Like, look at that. It kind of looks like an algae himself. It's kind of weird looking. Either way, uh, what was I saying? Oh, despite their colorful appearance and lack of real defense mechanisms, they survive mostly by virtue of their relative agility and a tendency to favor narrow crevices and other claustrophobic uh, environments. I think we got this down through the caves uh, earlier on when we were... Uh, where, what was that place called with the guy? Like, like the Kyanite and all that kind of stuff, I forget. But either way, I, I, I feel like we've discovered everything over here to be discovered and stolen everything to be stolen. <laughs> So, I feel like we can go back. Uh, my inventory is still. Oh, wait, hold on. There's still this right here. Yeah. Uh, grab it. Oh, I guess we just scan it then, huh? Laws of Communications Glacial Basin Map. Oh, wow. We actually get a map of this. Cool. So, where are we at right now? I guess that's where we are right there. Is this the caves? Previously explored resource locations accessible via spy pangling. Uh, okay, so this is the transmitter tower, but. And that's. Okay, there's the bridge over there. And I, I can't really, I guess there's another transmitter tower there because there's one on like the beach, like here, I guess you could describe it as. And I guess there's no, oh wait, no, that's the, that's gotta be the rocket right there, the rocket ship platform or something, huh? And I don't know what this green is right here. Huh, I don't know. But either way, at least we have that scanned. Thought we could actually uh, take that and like put it on the wall or something like that, but I guess not. Uh, there's a spy pangling right there. I, I, I don't know, I kind of want to keep that, but I don't want any more fragments to appear on the heckin' thing. Wait, that's salt. Whoops. Let's go uh, switch this over to fragments. Just so I could... Oh, wait. Pangling research. you think this would count as pangling research, but uh, I guess we have to actually make a pangling or spy pangling in order to... Uh... Wait, where in the world did I... Oh, wait. There it was right there. I skipped over it. There it is. Fragment right there. I guess that's not technically a fragment, but uh, whatever. Anyways, anything else inside here, though, that might be scannable? Let me go over it with my scanner one more time. <laughs> Because I think we're good to go. I uh, don't know what that thing is. Thought we'd at least be able to use it for decoration, but I guess not, huh? There's still that fish is still moving, so it is still alive. I love to hear that. <laughs> All right, let's get the heck out of there. Still a lot of titanium right there. Let's get out. Looks like there is an area to go upwards though. So, let's see what's up here. If there is anything to uh, wait is uh, is this area the uh? Oh wait, oh gosh. I think we found what that green on the mini map was, you guys, or whatever you call this. Yeah, right here. Yeah, if you guys remember from Subnautica 1, these are teleporters that you have to activate by how? Architect teleporter, yep. Scan this. There are a lot of these back in Subnautica 1. Let's see what this is. Uh, I guess I'll read this real quick. Architect teleporter. 
Original speculation surrounding these alien structures posited that the gates may have been religious artifacts or industrial machines. I'm like, it literally looks like a heckin' Stargate, but whatever. <laughs> Further research has indicated that these gates are, in fact, oh, inventory, okay, yeah. Well, at least whenever we switch over to the cold suit, we'll have this stuff going on, whatever, I have a full inventory, right? <laughs> But further research has indicated that uh, these gates are, in fact, medium-range teleporters that allow for the instant movement of baryonic material across space and time. I feel like, didn't the uh, teleporters in Subnautica 1, they were more than just medium-range. Those were, like, taking me literally across the heckin' map, I think, right? I think so. I don't know, they might have been medium-range, but I, I do remember some teleporters, like, the teleporters only take you specifically to other teleporters. Like, this teleporter only takes you to one teleporter. Like, you can't just, there's not like a menu that says, okay, you've entered the teleporter network, which teleporter do you want to appear out of? Uh, so you kind of have to remember, okay, this teleporter takes you there, uh, so if we want to fast travel from here to there, we need to go specifically to this teleporter. And I don't, oh, whoa. I don't know if there's anything else around here of interest, but there is silver there, which is good. Uh, if we have, uh, uh, gold, I'm like, I, Oh, I guess I'll drink the water, yeah. I'll drink it all, golly. And I'll get some silver just because I'm like, we we could use some silver back at home, right? So, hold on. Let's switch over to this. Any fragments in here? No. And I don't know. Oh, wait, did I read the whole thing? I think I did. But I think the only way to get a teleporter to work is to actually, like, find two teleporters. Either that or... I don't... I, I have this feeling that you have to put ion cubes on these, but I don't think you do. I don't remember how you activate the other teleporters, but it's like at the top of a chair right there. I don't know what this is. And uh, I don't know if there's anything else around here of interest, but I might be missing out. Might be skipping over, might be glossing over on something else, but this is kind of crazy how there's this second thing right here. But is there anything else around here though? Like this upper, upper area that we just, oh wait, hold on, yep, there is. Uh, another first aid, I'm like, <laughs> that's good and all, but like, oh, fiber mesh, I'm like, eh. Do I really need that? I don't know. Frame dart. I'm like, we have so much first aid right now. And we have gold. It'd be so savage of me to just, just to drop gold right now just for no reason. Batteries. I'm like, do I need batteries? I'll drop them. Like, well, it seems like we don't really need it, but I grab the fiber mesh. I'll grab the first aid. First aid definitely seems like a lot more important. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, we're able to, if I had the, <sighs> there's a lot of loot back there. But if I had the, what is it called? The propeller? Not the propeller arm. But you guys know. But I, I think it's an attachment, actually, now I think about it. For the prawn suit. And I don't think the prawn suit's able to come into here, is it? Uh, I don't know. It might be able to come into Oh, yeah. No, it isn't. Yeah. Because there's that gate that's, like, right outside. That's why we got out of the prawn suit. Yeah. But uh, there is... Where is it? Propulsion cannon. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I'm able to use that. Yeah, that's not an attachment for the prawn suit. I'm actually able to use that. Ooh. Wait, why did I not just get... Wait, propulsion cannon... I, th I think there's that one, and I think there's a, an attachment for it. I think that's why I'm getting confused right now, because... Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, prawn suit propulsion cannon. So I could have one actually attached to the prawn suit, or I could have one of my own. But I don't know where to find these. I feel like the the ones that we've been seeing all over the place earlier on, those were ones for the prawn suit. Hopefully we could actually find another one that's actually, like, I could use. Because that would be good, because that means we could actually go behind there and actually get whatever loot's inside there, right? More fiber mesh. Guess I'll drop another battery, because golly, I don't need like five, four or five batteries in my egg inventory, right? Now, what else is around here, though? Of interest. Oh, wow, my food's actually somewhat low. I might as well uh, actually eat something. Uh, do I want to eat another? I, I might eat the nutrient bar, but I I keep wanting to save the salad in case I'm actually in need of that warmth. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Ooh, okay, so we can actually go inside of there, too. Cool. And I guess we can go out of there from here. Hold on. Yeah, okay, we are open up that. And can I go under this? Oh, I can. If I go under there, can I come back out? I think I can. Hold on. Before I forget. Yep, here we go. What is that? Oh, that's a forklift, isn't it? Yeah. But is there a... Uh, oh my gosh, I'm stuck again. No, I don't think there's a snow fox like fragment there, unfortunately. Man. Oh, yeah, I can crawl. Oh, jeez. I got spooked right there. <laughs> ah. But uh, yeah, that'd be really good if we had another snow fox fragment right there. But unfortunately, nothing. Man. All right, well, let's go back up those stairs. Yeah, there's nothing there. Hold on. Yep, no fragments around here. Man! Well, at least we have this thing to kind of check in case we need uh, any frag. Actually, you know what? Maybe maybe I'll grab those batteries and just kind of switch them out for this thing that's kind of low. I think the laser cutter is also somewhat low. Uh, you know, just kind of make use of it. Man, do I have to go all the way around? I don't know if I'm actually able to go back up this. 
Hold on. I might be able to... Uh, oh, hey, hey! There you go. Nice. All right, let's see what's inside here. Anything good? Hope so. Can't go inside that. What's this? Another fiber mesh. I guess I'll take that. Oh, another... Uh, I think we already have this. Power cell charger? Yeah, inventory full. Yeah, I was trying to give me titanium there. And here's the kitchen. Hey, hopefully some good food inside here. Any uh, any more fragments in here, though? Uh, nope. And there's another poster right there. Alien intruder. I kind of want to get that. Coffee maker. Vending machine. Oh, yeah, we can make a vending machine at home, but I think it just gives you, like, a salty snack. Can't open up that. And, oh, wait, hold on. We have a PDA. Who's with me? Let's listen to this from Sam. Hey, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen leviathan. I investigated and- You I investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <gasps> Can we play the game now? Fine. <laughs> they're still playing their game of Among Us or whatever they're playing there. Uh, or just Imposter or Fortnite Imposter. I think that's what it's called, right? That weird new version of Fortnite or mini game of Fortnite or a uh, game mode of where it's literally just Among Us. But either way, uh, yeah, so it sounds like Sam really wants them to stop hacking researching the. Uh... Oh, and this must be Zeta's. Off. Wait, weren't we just in Zeta's off? It says this is administration. Hey, hanging in there. I remember that from Subnautica as well. Or Subnautica 1 as well. Other PDA right there. And uh, But yeah. Sam, I guess Sam tried, but ultimately. And yeah, that's that's why we didn't see Sam's. Uh, Sam didn't have a room over at uh, Omega. Because obviously she hangs out over here at Fire. What if it's called Phi? Uh, where is it? Where is he at? Oh, wait. Yeah, Phi, Phi Robotics. Okay, yep. Just wanted to make sure I'm getting the right name here. But another thing right there. Meeting with Zeta. Ooh, sounds like Sam's in trouble. Oh. <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Corral pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penguins. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. All right, well, yeah, Sam is once again just bringing that up with, oh, what in the world? Oh, a picture frame. On wait, who's that? Is that me? I feel like I remember that picture of that woman from Subnautica 1. Like, specifically inside of someone's locker there, or, or am I thinking of her the access once again? I don't know. I don't know. What do I look like, by the way? Well, I guess I can't really see, but I don't think that's what I looked like. Either way, uh, anything else around here I can scan, though? I don't, I don't think so. Nope. And I, I can grab this poster, but my inventory's full. But I, I kind of need to eat a little bit of something anyway, so nutrient bar, I guess we'll get that. Boom. Oh, whoops. Uh, reclaim water. Boom. Get that. And uh, I guess we'll drink, like, a large water or something like that here in just a second as well. Gosh. There you go. Still need uh, one more one more snow fox thing. Actually, oh, whoa, a large flask. What in the world is that? Well, I can actually just pick that up. Hold on. Uh, drink that. Boom. And, uh, wait, what in the world? Wait, how? Gosh, that thing is huge. If I can't pick it up with just one inventory slot, I guess. We need a lot more inventory slots for that. I think there's a thermos over here, too, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, so we have three thermoses. Is that already? Is that filled or? No, that's empty. Okay, so I guess if we 
run out of inventory space again. I guess I'll just get rid of that empty thermos right there, right? <laughs> Anyways. Is there anything else around here, though, of in interest? I think the only thing of interest in here was that... Oh, yeah, there's a poster right here. Ah, uh, yes, because such. I guess I'll get rid of that. We get the poster. Oh, did I get the hang in there? I think I did, didn't I? Just want to make sure. Just because it's kind of... Okay, we got it. That's good. It's kind of important there. You guys don't want to miss out on that hang in there little cat poster, right? Uh, there's a robot arm there. Oh, yeah, more fiber mesh. I'm like, eh, not that big of a deal. Was that right there? Cylindrical flask. Yeah, that's just something you could just pick up, though. I guess I'll just leave that there. I don't, I don't think we need that. There's nothing else to scan here, so yeah, that sucks. Wish we had a snow fox, but I, I feel like if we could somehow go upwards, like above that door, we had a, uh, a fragment we're actually able to, uh, like it was coming up on this thing right here. If we can get up a little bit, we might actually be able to heck and the snow fox if that is indeed a fr oh jeez there's a stalactite that appeared right there well there seems like there is a snow fox fragment up there oh oh, oh yeah here we go here we go yep here we go this is how you do it right here it seems am i able to i don't know am i able to go up this yes okay so up here it seems like there's a fragment oh and there's a ladder right there Ooh. okay interesting Oh, wait. Wait, is that? No. Is that it? Oh, I think it is. Gosh, I'm dying. <gasps> so far. Oh, we finally have it, you guys. So Fox Fragment. Yes, we got it. New blueprint syn synthesized. Perfect. All right. Is there anything else I want to do here first, though? Oh, whoa. Uh, Chance of Copper. I don't know. I'm like, I want to get that hydraulic thing, like, made. But, like, we have no information about it. It's not a blueprint. It's not appearing here. That way we can actually make the blueprint or uh, the hydraulic fluid or whatever that we need to get that bridge back up and running. Snowfox hover pad right there. Uh, and it is, you can't, you don't want to put that in heck in water. You probably can't even put it in water even if you wanted to. Uh, but I guess I, I'll probably replace my bed with Sam's bed just as, like, a little bit of a commemorative thing. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything there. Yeah, I don't know where the hydraulic fluid would be. I already looked. Oh, wait, no, there it is right there. Hydraulic fluid. Okay, gel sac. We can do that. We just need to go home. We can come back. And then we have the bridge fixed. Okay, so that's good. I'm probably getting comments. I, I don't know. It might have been last episode when we were messing around with the, uh, the bridge or something like that, right? But probably getting comments saying, hey, you skipped over the hydraulic fluid. It was like right there at like 1526. But either way, let's go up this ladder just because I'm curious what's on the other side of this. And hold on. Wait. Oh. I don't know if, are we on the other side of the, uh, the bridge over here? Oh, ooh, this goes down a little bit right here. Hold on. Ooh. See, I don't know if I want to keep exploring. Oh. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, dangerous weather. Seek shelter. Kind of want to, kind of want to take that advice. Oh, gosh, it falls down. I kind of want to come back here when I actually have room in my inventory and other inventories and whatnot. I feel like uh, I don't want to go down there right now while we have a full inventory. And, and we can't, like, loot or pick anything up or anything like that. So I feel like going back to the sea truck, going back home in general. Kill the Sky Ray thing. Ah, so close right there. That would have been so epic if I was able to kill it right there. Uh, no, okay, I already looted that, so that's good. And I don't know if there's anything else around here, but I, of course I'm I'm obviously going to come back here a little bit later. Like, I'm not just going to be like, okay, that's it. We, we came here, you guys. So uh, no need to go back to that area, huh? So uh, to get out of here, though, we go... I think that away or something. But it seems like there's another pathway this way we can go, though. Hold on. Let's do this. Nah, that doesn't do anything. Okay. But, uh, how do I get back to the ship? Or the sea truck? Oh, it's that way. But this way. What, what is over here? Oh, oh, wait. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, hold on. Wait, what's that? Oh, another sea, uh, snow fox fragment. Ooh, cool. Well, we already have it, so... Oh, there's like crazy music playing right now, too. There's like a reaper tail right there. Leviathan tail. Just randomly. What is over here, though? Like a cave with... Oh, man, even more of these uh hot pepper things in here. Ooh, interesting. It seems like another ladder that goes up to... What's up here? Uh, I guess it's just more of these thermal peppers. Hot peppers. And copper and silver. Uh, we already have, we have, uh, you know, I'll get rid of the lithium. We have lithium at home. I grab even more silver. I don't know why I'm suddenly thinking like silver is like the most rare thing in the universe. <laughs> like silver is like super duper common. 
And it seems like there's more stuff outside there. It seems like there's even more like stuff like lodged over there. Like there, there's a lot of resources just kind of lodged in the cave walls and whatnot. It's kind of crazy. But let's get back inside the sea truck or uh, prawn suit and I guess head back to the sea truck or just keep exploring around here. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of both. I'm like, I'm having fun just exploring around on land for the first time. Oh, jeez. Oh, Wait, hold on. I need to get fur from these things. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll drop the gold or something like that, but I kill this. Boom. Boom. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Drill it. Oh, we got it killed. Okay, that's good. We got it killed. Now, am I able to harvest anything from it? Oh, what in the world's with this arm? Ugh. I don't know. Am I able to get anything from this? I feel like that was a bad idea, literally killing it right there. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, oh, gosh. Take a damage again. Uh, if I am, yeah, I guess if I'm able to harvest it, I would have been able to pick it up right there, right? But, uh, nope, not getting any, like, fur. Because I'm supposed to be able to get fur from these things, right? And use that to make the, the cold suit, whatever it's called. Uh, I just don't have any inventory space right now. So maybe I'm not able to do it because I don't have any inventory space, which means large filtered water. I guess I'll drink that then. Boom. There you go. Still avoiding eating those salads for as long as I possibly can. But yeah, I don't know how to get that fur. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, no. That was a reclaimed water. Man, I don't need that. Yeah, I don't know how to get it then. Man, well, that sucks. Probably have to find it or something like that, huh? We go to a nest, like a like a snow fox or uh, whatever that thing was called. <laughs> go to one of those nests. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 what's that? Oh, random titanium right there. What in the world? There's even more stuff around here we could explore. Of course, there's I mean, we're basically in a new biome right now, so it's not really too surprising that there's like so much stuff to explore, which is really cool. Random quartz right there. But this might have been a cave wall. And of course, we're getting even further and further from the 500 meters away from the train. The world. What was that noise I just heard? Just heard something like vomiting right there. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what that noise was. Did I step on something and kill it right there? Like a small creature or something? Oh, wait, no, no, a ladder right. Ooh. Hold on. I'm like, I know I have no inventory space, but uh, it seems like a small little cubby or something. Hold on. Oh, oh wow. What's this? More uh, fiber mesh. I do not know if I want to keep going down this. Kind of want to save this for, for the future. So you know what? Can I close this? Oh, no. Oh, well, whatever. At least I took it and got some inventory space back. But kind of wanted to symbolize, okay, you haven't been here yet. So, so come down here and explore or whatever, right? But, well, that sucks. But anyways, more artificial light there. There's the moon slash some planet right there. It's very hard to see with all this, like, arctic fog. I guess you can describe this as. But we are, uh, wait, don't we have a map of this area? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Is that a spy pangling like thing? What is this? Yeah, some sort of transmitter there. Interesting. A lot more lights down there. Wait, what is this? It's like a whole other base area. Like, looks like might, there might be like a staircase there or something. Of course, more artificial light there. Huh. Either way, I should probably turn around and we can explore all this stuff while we have a heck of snow fox. Makes sense. But uh, it's probably going to take me a while to get back to the train, which is 500 meters that way. And we're on like basically the opposite side of the second area here, so. Or I just assume it, because I'm like, I haven't explored the whole area. Oh, gosh, there's another one of those. What was it going to attack? I will kill. Lip, 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 drill you up. Give me your fur. Give me your fur. I don't know. I don't know how to get. Oh, gosh, we're actually taking some damage. Oh, wait, no, no, we're not. This thing's actually kind of low on uh, energy, actually. That's what I'm kind of concerned about. It's at 29 right now. So, yeah, I definitely want to head back to Detroit. Oh, whoa, 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 jeez. Hold on. I see, that during this heck of snow, snowstorm. It's hard to tell, like, which way is safe and which way, like, like how to just get the heck out of here in general. Wait, here's another thing we could, because I guess every time we have one of these things, there's a thing to use a spy pangling to kind of research around and, and see what we could find. But I think, uh, yeah, so that's, that's the tail of that cre- oh, gosh. In the world? Oh, another snow fox, like, fragment, right? Oh, yeah, we already saw that, yeah. But either way, uh, okay, that's that. I think I know how to get back 
I just need to heck and figure out. Okay, so that's a landing pad. I think was it this way. Yes, up here where those artificial lights are. Yes. Let me get back to the heck and train. Pretty heck and far away for right now, but uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. With these like glowing slag mites and whatnot. So let me let me head back to the train. Probably head back to the base in general. Uh, to the Waffle House. We'll drop off a lot of stuff for my inventory, sea trucks or uh, Prosus inventory. The heck and like ender chests inventory <laughs> and then uh, i guess while we're at home we'll make the uh the hydraulic fluid we'll come back here repair the bridge and finally get the z13 architect artifact discovered and researched and read about and whatever else and uh i guess we'll also try and make the snow fox and also the snow fox or you know at least get the materials we need to craft the snow fox and the snow fox like base or whatever it's called oh wow there's a vent garden like breaching the water right there that's kind of interesting let's see oh this side can I attach on this side? Uh, yep, there you go. Perfect. All right, nice. But either way, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I'll head back home. My inventory's full. Yep, still full right there. I definitely want to put up all those. I can pick pictures, paintings, posters, and uh, empty out my inventory in general. And uh, maybe check out all our crops. Maybe our, some of our crops are going to be nice and uh, grown. So either way, uh, gosh, 1,200 meters away. Yeah, that's going to take quite a while. Do I have a thing here? Yeah, land dock. Um... And then, yeah, we have that over there, that, that beacon over there, five robotics landing pad, too. Okay, so I, I have a pretty good idea of how to get back here. So either way, let me just head back to the Waffle House real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit.